In November 2022, they started the Sweet Valley Twins graphic novel series. I can only assume this book was made for fans of the Babysitter's Club graphic novels. That would explain why they're adapting the middle school Sweet Valley books, not the more famous Sweet Valley High series. Argofomp book review, Argofomp book review. Elizabeth and Jessica Wakefield are identical twins. They always dress alike and do everything together. They don't like each other's friends, though. Jessica thinks Elizabeth's newspaper friends are nerds. Elizabeth thinks Jessica's friends, a group called the Unicorn Club, are a bunch of mean girls. She's 100% right about that, they're jerks. The Unicorns explain their club rules. They always wear purple and do things in a group. They spend most of their time gossiping about boys and movies. Jessica goes shopping with the Unicorns, only she doesn't bother to tell Elizabeth first. Elizabeth waits for Jessica for a long time, She's unhappy to learn she's been stood up. Jessica is more annoyed than sorry. She apologizes by giving Elizabeth a duplicate of the belt she bought for herself. I'd be pretty mad if someone did that to me, but Elizabeth is happy. She says she can't stay mad at Jessica for long. In order to join the Unicorn Club, Jessica must complete three tasks. First, she must steal a teacher's tablet. The students distract the teacher by arguing the moon landing was fake. They spend six pages explaining all the reasons why the moon landing wasn't real. I'm starting to think the author really believes the moon landing was fake. Second, Jessica must put soda in the coffee machine in the teacher's lounge. She distracts the teachers by making them think boys are doing a viral video challenge in the bathroom. The teachers are furious when the coffee is replaced with orange soda. Orange soda tastes pretty good, I don't know why they're so mad. Third, the unicorns force Jessica to dress differently from Elizabeth for the first time ever. Jessica does this by changing clothes right before they leave for school. Elizabeth cries when she sees Jessica looks different from her, but she later realizes it's kind of nice to not have her hair up in a ponytail all the time. Elizabeth is mad when she learns the unicorns didn't let her try out. Well, geez, she kind of hates the unicorns. I figured she'd be happy they didn't ask her to join. Mom tells Elizabeth it's okay for her and Jessica to do different things. Elizabeth tries hanging out with her friend Amy, which is nice, but it's just not the same as being with Jessica. Jessica threatens to quit the unicorns if they don't let Elizabeth join. They reluctantly agree to give Elizabeth a pledge challenge. Elizabeth has to trick a girl named Lois into eating shaving cream. Elizabeth is mad. She refuses to bully Lois for being overweight. Good for Elizabeth. But Jessica doesn't want to look bad. So Jessica impersonates Elizabeth, and she gives Lois a shaving cream sundae. Lois spits it out, and everyone laughs at her. Even the random adults who don't know her, but they just happen to be standing nearby. What jerks! If I was at a burger place and I saw a middle school girl being bullied, I would not start laughing at her. Lois is so upset, she stops going to school. Elizabeth doesn't find out what happened until she attends her first Unicorn Club meeting. The meeting goes badly for Elizabeth. She plays on the phone the whole time. The Unicorns think she's a nerd for reading books. And she thinks they're boring for talking about boys all the time. Mom gives Elizabeth a second pep talk about how it's okay for her and Jessica to like different things. Elizabeth gives Jessica an angry lecture about her misdeeds. She forces Jessica to apologize to Lois. It's a pretty weak apology, but that's probably the best you can hope for when Jessica is involved. The unicorns continue to make fun of Lois. Elizabeth decides to give the unicorns a taste of their own medicine. Lois tricks the unicorns into eating shaving cream sundaes. Elizabeth gets an embarrassing photo of the incident, but unlike the unicorns, she is too nice to put it in the school newspaper. 
Mom and Dad give the twins separate bedrooms. They get separate cell phones, too. Wow. Elizabeth and Jessica decide that even though they're different people, they're still best friends. The end. Postbook follow-up. I like the artwork for this book. There's a lot of energy bouncing off of every page. It's hard to tell who the characters are, though. I could not, for the life of me, tell you the name of anyone in the Unicorn Club. They, and all the other characters, really should have been named when they were first introduced. Just a little caption giving their names would be a huge help. In many places, it's impossible to tell the difference between Jessica and Elizabeth. That's a hard problem to avoid when they're identical twins who spend half the book in the same outfits. The way scenes are laid out doesn't help. Half the time, after I've figured out which character is which, there's a panel with only one twin, or a panel showing them from a different angle, and now I don't know who's who again. I hope future books will use a visual cue to differentiate the twins. Something like, Elizabeth always has a ponytail, or Jessica always wears purple. Big fans of the series complained about some of the changes made to the character designs, like, Mom is way older than she should be, and Bruce shouldn't be blonde. Why is he blonde in this version? It doesn't make sense for him to tease the girls about being blonde if he's blonde himself. This book has three ballet scenes. Jessica makes a bad first impression by wearing makeup and a fancy outfit, and enough hair clips to support a small country. Then the teacher announces they're doing a performance. Jessica swears to get the solo. Then Amy joins the class. I didn't like the ballet scenes, they were jarringly out of place, interrupted the main story, and contributed nothing to the narrative. If there had been an actual story with the ballet class, that would have been fine, but it was more like a collection of unrelated ballet scenes. The ballet scenes are double useless, because according to the preview of the next book, the story is that Elizabeth is better at ballet than Jessica. Why wasn't that anywhere in this book? It would have been great foreshadowing, and it would have played perfectly into the theme that Jessica and Elizabeth are falling apart due to their differences. I thought the book was a little too long. They were stretching a bit to reach 200 pages. The original book is only 100 pages. It would have been fine if this one was 150. Since I disliked the ballet subplot, I would say get rid of it entirely. Overall, it's a good start for a new graphic novel series. I could see Babysitter's Club fans getting into this. They just need to make it easier to tell who the characters are, and they need to improve the subplot. Those are the two big flaws. I'll take off a point for each one. I give Sweet Valley Twins graphic novel number one, Best Friends, an 8 out of 10.